All right, so here is the stand as of this morning. Yesterday I spent a um, few hours cutting all of the panels that are gonna be fitted to this stand. So basically what I'm gonna be doing, that right there is gonna be right here. So I'm gonna use tight bond wood glue and then finish nails. So they're gonna have very tiny holes and then I'll just end up filling those with spackle and I'm gonna paint this stand. Um, I have a bunch of really good paint left over from when I painted all the walls. So I'll be priming it and painting it with that exact same color. So it should look pretty cool. Um, and then we have, so as far as for the doors, I had a lot of wood left over and I didn't wanna buy even more wood. So instead of being able to cut this whole panel out and then basically cut holes for the doors, that would be ideal, but instead I cut a bottom, a bottom plate and a top plate up here, and then I cut one here, and I cut one there, and I cut one there, and they'll all be pieced together. So they'll kind of look like this. So this piece will come out like this, and it's gonna overhang a half inch on either side because then the side will come up here like this and fit right behind that there. And then, so once that's on there like that, this piece here is gonna come up right here. And then the top piece will go across. So now as far as the doors, the openings for the doors are going to be 20 inches. So that's going to sit right here. So that's going to sit right there and then the top piece is going to sit here and it's going to come up above this by two inches, which will hide the rim of the aquarium, the bottom rim of the aquarium will be hidden. So then the doors, the openings are going to, they're going to be hinged from right here and they're each going to open like this. I haven't cut the doors yet, but that's coming. But before I cut the doors, I'm going to uh, glue and attach all of these, and then I'll revisit the video. All right, so before I fit these panels, um, everything has to be perfectly level um, as far as all the framing. So I'll show you. This one here has been sanded to make it perfect. This one might look like it's pretty close, but it's not. So same with this one. So on the bottoms they are, but on the tops, so if you take a level here, you run it up. See how it just, there's a little lip right there. The middle one has even more of a lip, which if you're not gonna put any sort of uh, wrap around this, then this is totally fine, but little lip right there it needs to go. Here's this one. Okay. So they all need to be like that. This one's done on the back here, so it's coming along. All right, so the bottom piece of trim is on. So I used the type on wood glue and then I uh, uh, finish nailed it to here. So basically, I used inch and a half finish nails along with the wood glue. That thing will never come off. So it's basically coming out a half inch on each side so that this side piece right here is gonna sit nicely right there. So basically what I did is I clamped it with the wood glue, which gives you a little bit of time to make little adjustments, you know, back and forth this way, up and down and then clamp it a little tighter and then go along and finish nail it. And that's how I'm gonna put all these pieces on. And then uh, once they're all on, I'll move forward with getting ready to uh, prime it, spackle and paint. So there it is right now. Okay, so there's the stand as it sits right now. Um, everything is done 
except for a couple little things. Um, I'm trying to decide still what to do with the doors. I'm actually thinking I might do barn doors because that barn door right there, I put that all together, built that, painted that, um, and I just think it might look kind of nice to have that barn door kind of brought over and have one done over on the, uh, on the stand. So I'm gonna research that and see what, what there is out there for that. Um, and then another thing I'm gonna do, so this is raised up two and an eighth over the base, the base of the stand. So this is gonna cover the actual bottom frame of the tank. Now, without using suction cup, and it's, the tank is almost 400 pounds, it's, it would just be too hard if I had a raised edge all around, it would just be too hard to get the tank on. So what I decided to do was the front is on, the sides are not. So you can come around with the tank, set it down on top of here, and then I'm going to, I'm still going to work on this, but I've already got these pre-cut. So then I'm thinking possibly screwing very small holes in here and then putting dowels in here maybe four dowels, and then you'll just be able to put that on like that. So that is what I'm thinking. And then this is kind of what it looks like close up. So coming around the back, I also put some blocking plates right here and there, there and there, so that it gives this board right here something to nail into which i already did so basically this is crazy secure now everything's everything's very solid so this is what it looks like from the inside right here i do like the way it turned out it turned out very nice so there's that so now i just have to decide what i want to do for doors as far as the back it's going to get one of those really thin it's what i used on the other tanks and what it is it's just a very very thin board, basically like a fiber board, and I'm going to mount that on the back with some accent ho accent, uh, access holes here on the back so that anything can pass through, whether it be cords or the uh, plumbing for the, uh, for the filter. So that is what it's looking like right now. Here's from the front. And of course, like I said, I have to spackle all this, and then uh, I did say that already. I have to spackle it all and then prime it, or I should say prime it, then spackle it, then I'm gonna be painting it. So this is the biggest gap around. So this, you know, I don't prefer it to have a gap, but the spackle's gonna fill that, it'll be completely gone. But all the other ones are actually really nice and tight. So pretty happy with the way it turned out overall. And uh, I'm actually gonna do, like I said in the, the previous video, the wall color, just because I already have a bunch of really nice Sherwin-Williams paint, Williams paint, that's what this is. So there's going to be Sherwin-Williams satin on there. So it should look pretty nice. So that's it for now.